Hi, how are you? I hope you guys are doing good in this pandemic time. This is actually my second video. This time I have chosen a topic called Excel, Excel Workbook Template Designer. Uh, what I want to do is I want to discuss how we can design Excel templates, attach them to the FinOps menus or screens and use them through Excel add-ins. Okay, so let's jump to the agenda. What I want to discuss is I want to show you, you know, few Excel templates. I want to sh show how we can configure that Excel templates, and then how we will discuss how we can import import those Excel templates using Dynamics uh, Document Template System, and we will see this in the system as well. Okay, so let's just move on. So when you open FinOps forms, you will see this in every form almost that there is a button similar to office and what does it do is actually when you click on it it will show you that either you can open this form in excel and use the excel add-in feature to add data or either you can export the data into an excel okay so this is what we the button do i have chosen two types right now one is journal ledger I want to sh you know show you how we can design this kind of template for a specific company. You know you can put your logo over here. You can add and you know remove those columns. And I have you. It's very easy. Most of the company use this Excel template to add one you know large chunk of data that can be entered through it very easily. And I have another chosen another uh, you know Excel template. This is sales trade agreement. I think this is very common that people want to. Uh, import sales prices using Excel Latin that is faster so you can you know create your own Excel Latin for, for this function as well okay so what I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you that how we can you know in, in general ledger template how we can add remove or rename or move a column we will see how we can add a calculation field like a you know like a formula field that will be going to happen in a custom field so we will see how we can add a custom field as well we will see how we can add a list of value column so these are some ideas which came to my mind and i would like to you know share those ideas in this template okay so let's just go into the system and see how we can do it okay let's start we will first go into gl model Click here, go to GL module and click journal journal. Okay, on any journal, for example, I've created this one. Click open in Excel. You can do it from here as well, and you can just do the same thing from here. Okay. So you can yeah, you can select from here. Right? The same thing. So I'm gonna use this one, this is easy peasy. I want to use this and I click OK. What I'm doing is I'm just downloading the current template and then I'm going to design that template with my specifications. Okay. Okay, so the Excel is downloaded. All I need to do is I have to put my credential here and sign in. in. So just give me one minute. So I've signed in, in and you can see that the system is actually, you know, bringing details here. is getting connected see okay so we will first arrange what we want and what we don't want okay so for example uh, I don't want the company here it should be fine uh, and I don't want for example offset accounts I uh, made it's my my choice maybe I don't want this account here this field here so I can change that what I need to do is I have to go into the designer uh, menu open designer so once the designer is open you need to you know click on the lines way or on the table which you want to you know change so I want to change the general lines so I'm gonna click at it these are the available fields and these are the fields already been selected 
I think the company is mandatory, that's why the key is here. This is a concept called primary key. So let's just arrange all the columns. So I don't think so. I need these non ledgers, so I just need to do a remove. Okay. Uh, I need a column called account, this guy, to add dimensions. So I'm going to add here. I want this to be, you know, near main account so I'm gonna just you know put this position right so just press up um, remember every new field you add will be available in the last so you need to arrange it properly okay now I want I want to add some custom fields okay uh, for example I want to design a template where financial dimensions are coming in a separate column so how I can do that? It's just a concept. So I, well, what I can do is I can just click on here over here, saying formula. Okay, and you can just call it business unit. So since I don't want to, you know, I don't want to put a formula here. I want another field for that. I want another column for that. So let's just, you know, keep it blank okay and then we need to press update if you press update this column will be available in the last see but i want it in a proper uh, position so click edit again if you go down here let me just add few more fields and then i will move them together okay so click here Right here, scroll it. Click here, scroll it. Ledger account. Okay. So what I need is I need to grab these guys together. Okay. It's very simple. Shift and up. And I'm gonna take them where I want. I want them after the main account. So here you go to the main account. I'll press update. Those column will be shifted here. See, very easy. Since these columns are are added by me, you know, so that means system will not update or you know link it with the with a with a table okay so these are just added for my ease ease purpose of data entity okay i will add some data and you will see how it's easy to enter data okay so i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna put formula for this guy what i want is i want to merge these three column over here okay it will be easy for me to you know copy paste this to the separate column why I'm doing it because I, I want to select dimension in a column properly. I will show you how we can do that. And I want this value to be calculated automatically. So if I go to this column, measure account, there you go. All, all you need to do is you need to provide a formula. So I will provide a formula. Give me a minute. What I have done is I have provided a formula here. You can see that it's actually merging all these values into one account so that is done now all you need to do is you know you need to press update again obviously and this will be yours i mean this will be ready okay uh, what else i want i want to put some logo okay i want to i also want a balance column here so i will uh, add a balance column as well so just type balance here okay and merge these guys together very easy I think it's just like working in Excel, so it should be easy. And what's what's formula we want? Okay, it's so just just tap it. Let's put it. Okay, can use the same formula printer for this. Okay, I want to put my logo here, so what I will do is I'll go to view, and I will skip the grids. So I've put my logo here, 
okay so you can do all those things so for the sake of demonstration what I have done is I have already created my own template and I have attached it to uh, document templates and you can see it over here so if you go click open 9 in, in Excel click ledger the, the one I have added here so just click OK you have to press enable editing here and you have to use your credentials login I have already used my credentials so the system is not asking for my username and ID and password okay so what I have done I have added three columns as, as I have shown you previously business unit cost center department and ledger account uh, business unit I have also added list of values here these values are coming from my working sheet so you can add a working sheet here okay that should not be a problem uh, I need to clear this out that this is not an most appropriate way to add dimensions in a separate you know column in an excel template there is already a customization or a, a suggestion from Microsoft how we can add dimension separately in a column uh, in an excel template so let me show you that as well so if you search add dimensions to excel template you will find this blog this is from Microsoft and you can see that this is the most appropriate way to add uh, dimension in a separate column my objective over there is uh, in the, I mean my objective is to just to give you an example that how we can use different type of fields in Excel template and how we can configure it but, but if you really want you know dimensions to be in a separate column in an appropriate way that should be this, this should be the way we do, should be doing it you might need to involve a, a developer with you because it might it's, it's basically need an access to Visual Studio where you can now do all those things okay so this is the this is the appropriate way of doing it so let's just come back to the topic so uh, let's add data now uh, you can select dates from here yeah, I mean you can select select the uh, dates or you can enter it manually or copy paste whatever you want so I just you know select this company I can type or I can select again same options count type ledger main account I want to select this main account select this okay and I'll just select business unit this I uh, will skip cost center for now I'm going to select department this okay let's say testing USD 1500 sorry okay and I usually don't use offsets I will add another line for the credit so, so click new and the line will be added uh, again <coughs> now I just you know want to copy data so I will add more lines just to give you more you know more satisfying examples so give me a minute so I have added more lines okay so it's four lines now what I can do is you know once my 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 journal is ready all I need to do is just copy paste this guy over here okay so there is a small limitation in Excel template that you cannot add a formula to a already already a, 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 a data entity field for example this guy is basically connected with data entity and that I cannot add a, a formula here that's why I have to use a custom column over there I have applied a formula I am copying over and that data I'm copying over here. So, so okay, so this is this is this is a small limitation. So that's why I'm copying this guy over here. Okay. So once this is ready, what you can do is you can just press publish. The system has now published the data uh, in our journal. And what we can do is we can jump into the system and see. So if I click here. So you can see that the data is just went into the system okay so this is one of the example how you can use excel templates okay and uh, now I will I'm gonna focus on how we can add a template over here okay so that will be the next part of this video so the next thing is we will see that how we can import a template and how we can do the reload of, uh, of system templates Okay, so we have to go to the document template screen.
let's jump into the system so go to your worker menu select common okay in the common module select excel uh, sorry document templates okay click new browse your template so when selected uh, you will see that your template name and everything will appear here please do not change the name of the template here you can you can change the name there is another screen in the system where you can actually give the name which you want to a custom name uh, for display purpose but this this guy should be the same as uh, you know should be the same as the the default one because uh, system will if you try to change this guy the system will not bring this template in your uh, in your open in excel screen that's something uh, there is a bug or what i think this this is this is we need to check uh, so please make sure that you do not change the name here okay you, there is another option i will show you that way you can put your own name okay your customized name so what what else you can do is you can specify this template for a company so click here and select usmf and click okay once this is done what you can do is you can search here ledger and this is the one which is added by us so there is one which is added by system say system and this is the one added by me so it's called users okay so where you can change the display name which is this you can say nops demo for example and click save So now jump back to journal ledger. You can just you know click here journal ledgers. You can click on open in line in Excel and you will see my my customized uh, Excel template will be available here. Okay, so it's very easy, and it goes for every uh, other uh, type of templates as well. It should be the same process of adding a new template. Okay, it will also appear here as well. You can see. You can use both of them. So similarly, you can use Excel template for sales days and trade agreements. You can use the, these Excel templates to incorporate or you know change sale prices in the system. So what I've done is I've actually created this template, make it easy, and now I'm gonna put some data using this Excel template. It's basically the same thing. It's just another kind of a template we were using before the journal journal template and this is now a template for trade agreements okay so let me just quickly fill this in so what i have done is i have just used the price journal uh, which i i want to you know the trade agreement journal i want to use use in the system so i've just put the name of it the item numbers the new sale prices and the date i want this to be active from okay so i've done that all i need to do is just press publish and so you can see it got published okay and you can check in the system as well yeah so you can just click here on sales click lines see all the sale prices are in the system now okay so the, the this video ends here and I think it will give you a good idea how we can use excel templates to incorporate data in FinOps. okay so guys please like my channel and please uh, you know just email me if you need something on, on, on any help on any topic okay so please let me know how how the video is give me some feedback as well so that will be good okay so, so thank you very much thank you for watching thanks cheers bye bye